things. No, seriously, this week has seen updates from Microsoft, AT&T, Verizon, Nintendo, and more, but how does this affect you? I'm Callie Lewis, welcome to Geek Me number 334. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Carbonite. So news came in rapid fire succession from AT&T, Verizon Wireless, and Comcast, starting with AT&T. They'll finally launch their 4G LTE network for those in New York City sometime this month. They've been testing the service for a bit now, so those of you in the concrete jungle where dreams are made should be experiencing some awesome 4G speeds before you know it. If you're on Verizon, I have some good news for you too, especially if you use multiple devices on one account. Coming sometime in 2012, Verizon will be launching shared data plans. So if you have your phone, and your 3G tablet connected to Verizon, then instead of paying for each device to have a separate data plan, both devices can share the same pool. Awesome. Now for you Comcast users, breathe easy. The CFO himself has confirmed that they have no intention of implementing tiered data plans anytime soon. Some providers charge you more if you use more, but because of an increase in streaming video, Comcast believes you need the opportunity to use as much data as you need, so long as you stay within their 250 gigabyte data cap. Gaming update time! The latest dashboard update for the Xbox 360 has been released, and it brings a new look, more in tune with Windows Phone 7, as well as new features like Bing Search, social media beacons for Twitter and Facebook, and every member of Xbox Live has been given 512 megabytes of cloud storage for things like game saves, which are then accessible from any console. One of the biggest parts of this update is an increased video app library, bringing access to nearly every service available like YouTube, Crackle, HBO Go, and even ESPN, expanding on the goal to make the Xbox your primary media machine. Speaking of video, Nintendo has updated the firmware on the 3DS. Now there are all sorts of features like achievements and updated puzzles for the device, but the biggest new feature is the ability to record up to 10 minutes of 3D video. The quality of the cameras isn't the best, I wouldn't even call it really good, especially in low light, but being able to record full 3D video in AVI format on your Nintendo gaming device? Pretty remarkable. They give you lots of neat features from interval shooting to built-in stop motion recording. Now all of you little Jane Camerons and trainings can get to work on the next avatar. Phew, aren't you glad you know someone like me to keep you up to date and to make sure you keep your data safe? I'm gonna hound you until you do it because it's one of those things we don't want to do. But you need to back up your data offsite automatically and securely with Carbonite. Go to Carbonite.com, use offer code GEEKBEAT and get two months free. Well, I'm glad to know you guys so I can share all this information, but I love to hear from you too. So get in touch at Callie Lewis on Twitter. Find me on Google Plus at gplus.to slash Callie Lewis. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Console. One of the biggest games parts something to this update. Oh, in API format on your Indian. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> <laughs>